Hey everyone, we have a new release, Playwright 146. So what's new? Let's take a look. But first of all, tip of the day, use annotations. What are annotations? Annotations are a way to add some extra information to your test. So you could add, for example, links to your GitHub issues, or you could add links to Jira tickets or etc. And when you add these annotations in, you'll get this really nice box in the HTML report called annotations. And in here, you'll have a list of all the things that you added in as an annotation. Now, how do I do this? Well, basically in my test, after the test title, I can add in annotation and I can put an array so I can have more than one annotation. Here, I've got a type of issues with a description and I've got another type related issues and a description with more than one link. I could write in any text in there I want. So really, really cool, use annotations. Okay, let's take a look at the agenda for Playwright 146. We have client certificates, woohoo. We have run only change tests, interesting. We've got UI mode and trace viewer update and we have miscellaneous. Okay, client certificates, test sites that use TLS client certificates. So before, what happened? Well, some websites were really hard to test because you have these client certificates and this pop-up pops up and Playwright can't click on that OK button. So what do we do? We just don't test the website. No, terrible. What do we do? Well, now we can. Now we can add a client certificates property into the use object in the Playwright config. So in that client certificates property, I can put in the origin, the cert path, the key path, and the passphrase. And of course, anywhere I can use a use block, I can add in the client certificates property. So a describe or in a projects, etc. CLI only changed, run only the change tests. Whoa, let's take a look at a demo. So I have a file here. I'm just gonna make a change to it um, to fix that test. And what do I normally do after I fix my test? Well, I'm gonna run my test using the CLI and I can do NPX Playwright test and it's gonna run all those tests, every single test that I have. Here, I've only got eight tests, but imagine if I had a hundred tests, really slow. So what if I did NPX Playwright test dash dash only dash changed? Well, it's only running one test using one worker and that makes it much, much faster. So this is really cool and really good way of getting a faster feedback loop for those changes. Okay, so let me show you something else. We're gonna create a new branch. I'm gonna call it only changed. Terrible name for branch, I know, but just bear with me for this example. So. I now have my one change and I've moved it to my only change branch. And I can check this out by using um, git status. And you can see I only have one file that's been changed. Now I can go ahead and add that file and commit it. And now if I go ahead and run npx playwright test dash dash only changed, what's gonna happen? What do you think? No tests are found. Why were no tests found? because nothing was changed, because we made that change, we committed it, and then there was no change. Now, we were to run this against the main branch, you can see that, yes, we have one passed, one test difference between the main branch, and it because it passed, it means I can go ahead and merge that branch into main. Excellent, let's go back to main. So something else you can do is you can run from a previous commit. So you can basically say mpx playwright test dash dash only changed equals and the commit ID, and it's gonna run the tests since that commit. Very cool. Now, what if I was to go ahead and change something not in a spec file, but somewhere else? Let me show you something. I'm using an attachment name. It's coming from a utils file, and that's basically just adding the attachment uh, name for the attachments and for annotations inside my tests. So in my utils file, I'm basically just doing something really simple, and I'm just saying export const attachment name equals related issues. Now, what if I change that to my issues? So I'm making one change into the utils file. I'm gonna go ahead now and run npx playwright test dash dash only changed. And what's gonna happen? Well, it's gonna run every single test that is using that utils file. So we've got five past tests. Where did we get that? We've got one change, which is utils, but we got five tests that passed. And that's because there are tests inside the annotations. And we've got one test, two tests. So two tests in here. And then if we go ahead and I know that in the attachments, we've also got, we're using this import attachment from utils. And I've got three tests in here and there are my five tests. 
So basically, only changed is looking at the spec file, but also any file that is using or being imported into that spec file. So any changes that are made that are going to affect those spec files, only changed is going to keep that in mind. Very cool. So only changed will only run tests that have been changed since the last commit, since a specific commit, or run tests that have been changed on the current branch. Excellent. Now let's take a look at the UI mode updates, annotations pane, and more. So we got another demo. Let's dive straight in. Obviously, you all know this by now, but just in case you don't, npx playwright test dash dash UI to open up the UI mode. Let's run all our tests so we can see them and easily uh, play around with them. Don't forget, you can use the watch icon to watch all tests as well. Now we've got a failed test here. Let's look at that. The attachments panel is showing us there is a failed attachment and you've got the diff, the actual, the expected. You can see they're different. You can look at them side by side and you've got the slider and you can slide across. Amazing. And not only that, but also in the attachments, you can now add text. So we've got some text attachments here and the link is clickable. So I've got a markdown with a link and then I've got this uh, normal text and I've got that link is clickable as well. Very cool. Now we've got annotations. Remember we talked about annotations. Well, look, our annotations are now visible in UI mode, those same annotations that we added and saw in our HTML report and they're clickable and we can go straight to those issues as well, straight from UI mode. Very nice. So that's really cool. What else have we got in UI mode? Um, network requests. So now inside our network requests, you can click on it and in the request, you can actually now see the method and the status code. So you don't have to go back to see it. You can just kind of go through each request and you can easily see that status code. Very cool. Now look at this. I've got a test here where I've got lots of root continues. And this is like really, really, really long in the actions panel. And what I can do in this settings tab, I can basically just hide and show it. And look also in the settings, dark mode, dark mode, light mode, dark mode. You can choose whichever one is your favorite. Okay, what else have we got? Well, in the source panel, you can now copy the file extension name there and paste it into wherever you want to go. And the metadata, the base URL is easily seen in the config part of the metadata and you can click on that and it's going to take you to where your base URL is. And that's it for UI mode. Amazing testing options pane, hide rooting actions. We got request method and status, copy source files, text attachments, and the base URL is now visible in the metadata pane. Lovely. So check out that. Don't forget npx playwright test dash dash UI, but it's also visible in the trace viewer as well. Lovely. Miscellaneous max retries for network errors. We've got a router fixture for component testing and some improved link rendering for the annotations and attachments in the HTML report. So you get up for all our release notes and summary. We talked about client certificates. Mega cool. Run only change tests. We've got UI mode for our trace viewer update. Uh, miscellaneous and as always update playwright to the latest version for all the cool changes and to run against the latest browsers npm i d at playwright slash test at latest and that's it make sure you are following all our socials and reading the documentation and of course make sure you're testing thanks everyone see you in the next release bye